A January study caught the public's attention. Researchers found that the average one-liter bottle of water contains 240,000 tiny pieces of plastic. But that information barely scratches the surface of the plastic problem that goes to the cellular level. And Congress wants to do something about it. A recent hearing in the Environmental and Public Works Committee explored how plastic is literally everywhere. On top of mountains, at the bottom of the sea, in the food we eat, in the air we breathe, in drops of rain, and even drops of our own blood. Microplastics have been found in our livers, our lungs, and the breast milk we feed our babies. It gets there through the containers that hold our water and food, clothes, and household appliances like dishwashers, and the plastic lining around detergent pods. Like people shed skin cells, plastics shed particles of plastics. As the expert witnesses explained, it's a circle. We consume nanoplastics, they go through our system, and then we go to the bathroom. That wastewater is then converted into biosolids, which are sent to farms. This application allows plastic particles within the sludge to be re-released into nearby waterways as runoff or moved through the soil into the groundwater. The plastic in our system can have negative health effects, which are still being researched. But the chemicals on plastic are already known to be carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, and lead to insulin resistance. Formulations of plastics are estimated to use upwards of 13,000 chemicals, and microplastics are widely documented to harm aquatic and terrestrial wildlife. Um, they can slow growth, alter behavior, and cause reproductive disruption. Um, they also cause, cause adverse effects in mammals, and particle presence is now confirmed in the human heart, placenta, and lung tissues, as well as in circulation in the bloodstream. The purpose of this hearing was not just to learn about the problem, but to figure out how to stop plastics from entering the environment in the first place and filter out what's already there. The witnesses said it starts at the macro level with a recycling and waste plan. You don't tackle this problem when you're dealing with something that's nano-sized. <laughs> you deal with it when you're talking about something that's big. We really don't have very good understanding about the occurrence of nanoplastics in the environment, in our water supplies. And until we understand that occurrence, we really can't conduct meaningful treatability or toxicity studies to really understand, in turn, how we should take action about microplastics.